now that you have unpacked your, your eagle and watched the video about unpacking your eagle, we're going to get to know your eagle power folding wheelchair and how to get set up and how to easily use your eagle to begin with. So in the previous video, we showed you that the joystick was in the basket that's underneath the chair. The basket underneath your chair should contain several goodies that are important for operating the Eagle. First and foremost, the basket should have the charger. This is an international voltage charger. You can use this anywhere in the world that has electricity. You simply, very similar to a computer charger, plug the part in with the plug. Depending on where you travel or what country you reside, you may need to get a plug adapter, but this can handle the voltage anywhere in the world. When you're charging the unit, it's perfectly okay for this to get a bit warm. You can see that there is an adapter in the front with a little arrow right here. And we can take a look at the joystick, how there's three little holes or indentations. One way to charge both batteries would be to very simply plug this into the joystick, plug this end into the wall, and voila, there you go, the unit is charged. Keep in mind, the unit should always be off when you are charging it. We went over this little bag of goodies, the instruction manual for the Eagle that came in the little brown box that was next to the Eagle when we took it out. This gives you all of the different specifications for the Eagle power folding wheelchair and it has a warranty card on the back. You can disregard the warranty. The vendor that you made the purchase from has all of your warranty information in their computer systems so you do not need to fill this card out just when you would be calling for service your name, your telephone number, and your order number would be the only things that would be important. You have a seat belt that is in the bag as well. It's an adjustable seat belt. The seat belt can be used anywhere that you need. And we have a couple other additional tools. If there's ever any service that needs to be done, there's a couple Allen wrenches and that will allow you to work on just about every component of the Eagle. And then let's not forget, last but least, we have this little apparatus. If you're going to take the batteries out, now on the inside of each battery, there's a quick release little button. You would press that to release and take the battery out. Another little trick, we can press the button here and see how much charge the battery actually has. We can uncap right on the battery, this little part right here. And this plugs into the battery. And of course, instead of plugging this part of the charger into the joystick, this part of the charger, you can match the arrow up to the quick release, and you can charge each battery individually outside of the unit. So now that we have a couple of the basics out of the way, let's go ahead and get this battery back into the chair and go over a couple very easy components for how the chair works. On the joystick, if we focus on the joystick controls, we have an on button, we have a horn in the center, we have an off button. We're going to turn the unit on and we can see that we have three greens, we have three yellows, and we have one red. When the battery drains, the greens will simply disappear. We usually don't recommend charging the Eagle up until you have the bottom yellow or even in the red. The minus on this side makes this slow, the plus makes this fast. We're going to turn the unit off and we're going to take a look into the back of the chair. A couple very important things in the back of the chair here. And 
we see there's a red knob. Now, right now, if I'm pushing this chair, it doesn't move. The wheels are locked. The chair will only function as a power chair when the wheels are locked. If you turn the joystick on when the wheels are not locked, the chair will beep, but it will not go anywhere. I'm going to unlock the chair, making it a manual chair and not a power chair. This knob goes forward, this knob goes forward. Now I can push the chair forward. In order to fold the chair, there's one very important component that I need to focus on. There's a latch that's in the back of the chair. I'm going to unlatch this latch. I'm going to grab the footrest and I'm just simply going to pull the chair together and there you go that it's folded up it's on a kickstand it's easy to store and it's easy to with the wheels unlocked it's easy to pull behind you in an airport or wherever you might need to travel to unfold the chair very simple now one last component, once I unfold the chair, what I need to do is latch this latch into place, snap it under the bottom. I'm going to now make this a, an electric chair. I'm going to turn the chair on and you are ready to roll with your Eagle. Two more features that I do want to cover. This is the heavy duty model, holds up to 400 pounds. You can put a lot of weight on these arms, no problem. These arms are locked into place. In order to do a transfer, I would simply turn this, so this knob is facing up, directly up, right here, on the side of the arm here, pull the arm up. If this gets stuck in the up position, I will grab near the handle, pull it forward to get it unstuck. We'll try that one more time. If this gets stuck up, I'm going to pull just below the plastic part of the handle, get it unstuck, drop it down, and this will come forward and down. The arm is now locked. Same process with either arm. For getting into the car, into the chair, very easy to remove the footrest and very easy to drop the footrest back down. That about covers it for your brand new Eagle folding power wheelchair. Have fun, drive responsibly, and if you have any questions and you're watching this on YouTube, feel welcome to make a comment in the comment section and we will follow up. Information about us, Quick and Mobile, who produced this video can be found below the video.